So just do it. If you don't use it, get rid of it. Can we get rid of it? Ruthless. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the floor of my bathroom. You may be wondering what I'm doing here or if you clicked on this video and saw the title, I'm sure you know what is happening, but I thought it'd be interesting to take you through me cleaning out some of the areas of our house. As you guys, again, may or may not know, we are moving out of our house within the next few weeks to move back to the Midwest for about a month. We're gonna rent this house out with our furniture, and then we're going on a full-time RV adventure starting in July. So it's really interesting. Usually when you move, you like pack all your stuff up in like one, not one box, but like all your stuff is gonna to go to one space, right? Well, our stuff is going to three different locations. A lot of it is staying here. Some of it is going home to be stored and some of it is going home and by home I mean back to the Midwest where our RV is to go into the RV. So it's really interesting packing and as we're doing this we're trying to get rid of a lot because we're going to be storing this in Steven's brother's house which is so kind of him to do that and I keep thinking okay if he's nice enough to let us use like part of his garage to store stuff like I really have to be discerning in what I want to keep. So I'm really trying to get rid of stuff that I no longer need or no longer serves me or no longer aligns with me. And whether you're moving into an RV or not, I think this is just a really powerful practice to do. I wish I would have been doing this like every spring, like the traditional spring cleaning. <laughs> I just think it's a good habit to continually evaluate like what you have stuffed away in your cabinets because a lot of times you don't even know. It's just really interesting too. I feel like Stephen and I are pretty good recently at like not buying a lot of stuff. Like especially in the past few years, we really haven't been buying like home goods or like things for our house or just things we feel like we don't need. We only buy the things we truly need or the things that truly light us up or make us happy. And even with that, like I feel like we're pretty minimal. <laughs> I don't know if we're minimalist, but we're minimal. I still feel like we have so much stuff. Like it just blows my mind how much stuff we've accumulated over our lifetime or even these past few years of living in this house. So just a powerful practice, whether you're about to live in a tiny home or a tiny home on wheels or not, to just go through your stuff and evaluate what aligns with you and what doesn't. So I'm just going to take you through maybe this section or a couple different sections of our house and you can see things that I'm trying to get rid of. It's going to be a lot of time lapses, I'm sure, because um, you may find this interesting or you may not. Or some people just like to watch people clean. Sometimes I've done that and that inspires me to go and clean or me to go and get rid of things that I don't need. So hopefully this is useful for you. So we're going to start in these cabinets in our master bathroom. You can see none of this is curated for you this is the real deal this is the real situation what my counter space looks like on a normal day what my closet looks like on a normal day a lot of stuff on the floor in there that i'm trying to sell on facebook marketplace that's another thing that's been really useful is trying to sell stuff so yeah let's go through these cabinets and see what i can get rid of all right first things first I gotta have the coffee I feel like a common trap a lot of us fall into, especially with this influencer world we live in, which I guess what I'm doing is influencing. Hopefully I'm influencing you to go through your stuff and get rid of things. But we can tend to want to try new things, which is not always bad. But then you have like this whole cabinet full of stuff you still need to use. So that's been something I'm going to do moving forward is I have to use up all the stuff I have first before I can try something new or give it away to someone that wants to try the thing that you're done with and then get something else. It hurts my heart when I see like all these containers of things that I'm not using and it just seems so wasteful to the earth and to everybody. So that's my new goal moving forward. Have you guys heard of the hack to, if you have like just a little bit of lotion you wanna use or a little bit of product, put it in a contact case. I have a contact case. I've never done this hack, but 
I'm debating if I should keep it or get rid of it since I've never actually done it. I think I'm going to get rid of it because I've never done it. Sometimes you just got to be ruthless. If you've never used it, time to get rid of it. So what I think I'm going to do next is put all the like tiny, like I just have a ton of like literal tiny things that I need to use up into this pink container and set it on top of my bathroom counter so I remember to use it. And then whatever I don't use, I might just give away within the next few weeks. But this will encourage me to be like, hey, remember to use these lotions. I'm always looking for lotion when I have like a ton of half used lotions under my sink. Drives me crazy. I've been using coconut oil for like everything, including lotion. And I was keeping it in this Tupperware, but now I'm like, this may not be the most useful way to store <laughs> coconut oil. So I don't know. I might clean this out and find a different way to store it. Love coconut oil though. You can cook with it. You can use it on your, on your skin and your hair. So many uses. I think you can use it to remove makeup. Love it. Okay. Another thing that can happen is I can get sidetracked. So I'm telling myself, stick to the cabinets. Even though this is a mess, stick to the cabinets. Here's all the things I have to give away so far. Not my coffee, obviously, that is mine. But it's a lot of like products. Also this petroleum jelly from like the 70s. So I'm gonna try to give a lot of these unused products or half-used products to friends because I don't want to waste them. Hello, now I am here in a different space on a completely different day. I think even a different week, but that's okay. I've been just trying to do things here and there and honestly, the task of packing, let me know if you guys feel the same way, it just feels so overwhelming sometimes. In my experience, and I've moved quite a few times throughout my life, packing always takes longer than you think it's going to. Like in your mind, looking at it, you're like, I don't have that much stuff, it won't take that long. But I know from past experience that it always takes longer than I think it will. And what also makes it tricky is that you're using the stuff up until you move. <laughs> So you try to be like proactive about it, but a lot of the stuff I'm using until we move. So what I've been trying to do is just go through and organize things like what is staying here because we have a very unique situation. Stuff is staying here for the rental because we're renting out furnished. What is going into storage that I will not need on the RV and what will I be bringing with me in the RV? So as I'm going through things, I'm just trying to get rid of stuff I don't need. And then also thinking about what do I want to store? What do I want to bring with me? So I'm in my closet now. I've got this like shelf thing here with my shoes and accessories and pants and towels and all that. I think I'm going to start with my pants and just see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Now this is hard because I absolutely adore these pants. I'm not sure if you can see them all the way. They're bell bottoms from Free People. I got them for my bachelorette party. I try to wear them as much as I can. I adore them. But like realistically, how much do I wear them? So I'm going to have an in-between pile of store <laughs> or keep. I'm definitely keeping these. I'm not getting rid of them, but I'm going to have an in-between pile. Am I going to store this or am I going to take it with me in the RV? Love that jean skirts are making a comeback. So good for summer. Bringing that. I'm very happy to say I'm going to get rid of pretty much all of my work pants. Maybe keep one skirt, one pencil skirt, because those are fun and versatile, but I'm going to get rid of the rest. Because my goal is to never work for anyone else ever again. <laughs> Putting that intention out there. Very important in this whole process. Now I have a ton of these little purses. These are handy. 
I just got this one. I want to keep it. Got it from Christmas from my mother-in-law. Love it. Love the sparkles. Love how like easy these are to just throw over the shoulder. This one's in really good shape still too. And then this one, uh, I feel like I don't need, but I want to keep. I then decided this is a total knockoff from the streets of New York. It's just fun to have. I mean, I just love the look of a Louis Vuitton purse. I mean, you can obviously see it's fake. The quality is not great. Um, so this is going to be stored for sure. So I think I'll only take this one on the road. To store and store. All right, I do feel like this is too many beanies, but I love beanies. Like this one's my favorite. This one I just got is so cute. Forks I can't get rid of my souvenir from Forks, Washington. And then these two are super cute. I already got rid of a few, so I'm going to keep these for now. And then I also have like winter gear, especially for skiing, like skiing goggles, skiing gloves. These gloves could actually probably go in the RV. So these are going to be stored. These are going to be RV. As you can see, there's a pile behind me too. This is stuff I've been selling on Facebook marketplace. I'm going to go ahead and put these. This is like a store pile right here. If you want to buy any of my stuff, check out my store on Facebook Marketplace and you can see what I'm selling. I'm trying to link it in the description if I can. I ship stuff too. All right, shoes. I have to be extra discerning with shoes. I love these, but I literally have worn them once. They're so cute. I just think they're a little too uncomfortable for me, and I never wear heels. I want to be a heel girl, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm going to try them on real quick. Remind myself of how painful these are. And probably try to sell them. Oh, they're so cute, though. Putting them back on reminds me of how cute they are. See, this is my problem. I think of scenarios in the future. I'm like, well, what if I need this for, like, a fun event I'm going to in the future. I don't plan on working, but like, what about like a networking event or a podcast event or something like that? These are super cute. Or we have a wedding. These would be super cute for the wedding. Shoes are tricky. Now I am going to keep these boots. They're so cute and fun. Fun for winter. Probably store them, obviously. Um, I actually bought them for our ABBA costume. <laughs> I'll insert a picture. Loved how we were ABBA for Halloween. That was one of my favorite costumes. And these are just super fun as well. But honestly, I haven't worn them a ton. I think I'm going to get rid of these. They're super cute, but I'd never, never wear them. Yep. Get rid of. Got to be ruthless sometimes. I'm also going to get rid of these. Never wear these anymore. When I do wear wedge, it's either these shoes or these. I like these because they're not too high, but still cute. Okay, we are making progress. Okay, here's another really cute shoe that I got for a Halloween costume. And I'm like, I will probably never wear these again, but what if I needed them for whatever reason? Maybe I'll try to sell these too. It looks so cute on. That's the trouble with trying on shoes. You put them on, you're like, ah, oh, they're so cute. Gonna get rid of it. Ruthless. Hey, cool. Huge pile of getting rid of stuff. This is selling stuff, selling and storing. Selling good. All right, I've gone through my clothes multiple times on getting rid of stuff. I think I'm going to do one more sweep at a later time. And then I'm going to start to sort again of like what's being stored. What am I taking with me in the RV? And I really have to be ruthless there because I want to think about like the potentials of like, what if we need to go to something where I need to wear something nice? Like maybe one nice outfit, one dress. But other than that, it's like comfy relaxing clothes, which is amazing. <laughs> that, that's going to be our life. Um, so I just got to remember that as I'm deciding which clothes to bring. Now I do have these two hats. The rest of this is Stevens. I definitely want to keep this hat. I'm going to put that up here. This one is nice for like when you're laying out, protects your face, but again, I've only worn it once. 
right? I'm feeling really good about this. We've sorted this whole shelf besides the towels and the swimsuits, which I will do later with Steven. Got to go through my clothes one more time, but a lot that I'm getting rid of, which feels really, really good. It just feels so like light to get rid of things. I know it can be hard. You can feel sentimental or feel emotionally attached or whatever, but then it's also like freeing on the other side. And once you get rid of it, you rarely think of it again. Like I always think I'm going to get rid of something and then regret it down the road. I cannot think of one instance where that has happened. <laughs> I cannot think of one. So just do it. If you don't use it, get rid of it. All right, my loves, that is a wrap on this video where you're organizing and sorting things and kind of cleaning things with me. <laughs> may seem all over the place, but hopefully this is just inspiration to you, especially this time of the year during spring, whether you're moving or not, whether you're getting ready to live in an RV or a tiny space or not, it's always a beautiful time to go and sort through your stuff and release and get rid of things that no longer serve you. Not only are you making physical space, but you're making energetic space. Sometimes just subconsciously looking at those things is heavy, like on our mind. Like it's just physical and mental and emotional and spiritual and energetic clutter. Um, and just really be honest and discerning with yourself. Like, does it serve me to hold on to this stuff? and do it a couple times. You even saw me in this video. Like I have to go through these things a couple times. And when I go back and look again, I'm like, I don't actually need that. I think I need that, but I don't need it. And a beautiful way to discern that is have you worn it in the last year? If you haven't worn it in the last year, get rid of it. I know your mind always wants to think of like that special circumstance, but I think it's better to get rid of it and you won't regret it and you'll forget about it and you won't even worry. And a lot of times you can sell these things on Facebook Marketplace or Poshmark. It's something I've been using and get some extra money as well. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. If you want to see all of our future adventures, we are getting ready to go home to the Midwest for just a bit to fix up the RV and then we'll be on the road full time in July. I'm so excited to share all these adventures with all of you that are wanting to join us. Comment down below with any room that you're going to go through and get rid of stuff or things that you're getting rid of or any questions you have for me or anything you enjoyed from this video. Make sure you hit that like button that also just supports this channel and sending you all so much love, all the high vibes. And of course, I will see you in the next video.